some months ago, Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, by the 1st of July, there's going to be a shift. And he said, it's going to be something that will set the course for the rest of the year for sure. The Holy Spirit has uh, shared with me that by the 1st of July, there's going to be things that's going to shape the rest of the year, both good and bad. So something has already started shifting the latter part of June. So we as a nation, as well as the body of Christ, are witnessing momentous change. And I want you to know that the Holy Spirit has shown me that this July is gonna be really pivotal. I didn't know it at the time, but later I learned that even Chuck Pierce had said, watch July. So. I think we're both on the same page, but I didn't know that whenever I gave this word. Be aware that this change will manifest in evil changes that's gonna take place, but also very powerful breakthroughs. Evil changes will result in a tightening. Good change is gonna result in a loosing. The Lord showed me a vision back a few months ago uh, I was asleep, but I woke up and I saw it after I woke up, so it was a vision. And I'm not given to visions, but I did see it. I saw a, a baseball with the red stitches in a baseball cover come undone, come unraveled, and I saw the baseball cover come off the baseball. And the Holy Spirit said to me, tell the people that many of the privileges and many of the things that they have enjoyed, freedoms that they have enjoyed, are gonna come unraveled for a time, for a time. By the end of this year, that's really gonna be evident. I've given you this illustration before, but I wanna give it to you again today. It's important to me because this is the way I think. But I talk a lot down through the years about when you go to a theater, not a movie, but a theater, and you're watching a drama. When you get there, everybody sits down. They have a title of the drama. They have players. They have furniture. There's a curtain call. And when you first sit down, from the minute the curtain goes up, there's a plot that is introduced. And through the different curtain calls of that drama, the plot thickens and it becomes more understandable, but many times it's not completely understandable till the last curtain call. And that's called a mystery. But there's a curtain that usually comes up and you see scenery that they have built all to do with this plot. And then there's characters and these characters dress the part in order to reveal the plot. So then the plot develops, curtain comes down, you hear scurrying behind the scenes. And then after a while you hear footsteps, people leaving the stage, people coming on the stage, the curtain comes back up, the scenery's changed, the plot now thickens, there's familiar actors, but there's also now an introduction of new actors. And this is a mystery, it's an unfolding of an established plot. So now there's turns of events which is gonna require new people and new scenery. By the time the last scene comes, everyone saw all the curtain calls, everybody saw all the furniture changes, everybody saw all the characters from the time the first curtain came up until the last curtain came down and there's still some that survived, but there's many new players at the end of this drama. So the Holy Spirit spoke to me to tell you, and I want this to go on record because this is a prophetic word. <clears throat> there's coming a day real soon, very soon, very soon, that people that you have always known, household names, are about to no longer be on the stage that you've known them to be on. Their purpose and their time is up, Holy Spirit said. 
He has tolerated many things. They served their purpose, they were used. But now God said he's raising up new people and there'll be new changes, there'll be new scenery. It's already started. But be aware, once again, that you're gonna see key people that's household names that will begin to disappear from the world stage. That does not just involve politics either. And I'm not gonna tell you all the things that I wanna tell you, but it doesn't just involve politics, although it does involve politics. Those who have had a voice, those that you have seen on television for many years, they no longer will have a place on the world stage and they'll not be able to maintain their role any longer. Things have changed. So things are diminishing even while I'm standing here talking to you. Today, the 3rd of July, things are diminishing while I'm talking and I know what I'm saying. One of the things that happened in the last of June, and can you believe this, Roe versus Wade was overturned. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Right in the middle, right in the middle of great upheaval, and where people thought, oh my God, we're, we're spiraling down toward hell. But God said, no, I've still got some heaven left I'm gonna give you. But let me tell you this, here's the good news. Revival never breaks out in good times. It breaks out in the worst of times. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Revival's coming. Somebody shout amen.